Start game now. Welcome, retro fans, to another edition of the Notes for Gamer. Today, we're going to look at the EA Sports two player plug and play system made by Jax Pacific. Yep, another one of the TV games here. Let's just take a look at the unit. First of all, we got the on off switch that you just flick like so. And yep, it's definitely working. It does run on four AA batteries, which are held in by this screw compartment. It does say adult assembly required because remember kids, you cannot handle batteries in a little screwdriver that is for moms and dads only. It also has another area where you can put in one of these larger watch size batteries to save your data. So very interesting there. Makes it kind of handy if your battery dies uh, as far as your saves go. You can always kind of just uh, swap it out for another one. Of course, you lose your data here. Let's look at the controllers. Uh, very interesting. Looking at the second player controller, it kind of looks like a Sega Genesis controller. The, the buttons seem kind of like it in the start button, but it feels a lot lighter. This one does, feels kind of cheap. And the D-pad is kind of weird because as you can see, it has like this kind of flower shape and right in the middle is a little kind of bubble that's raised, which feels kind of weird to my thumb because the Sega Genesis controller was really flat. And if you have the first player one that has the batteries, all of a sudden you have a lot of extra weight and it's hard to rest your hands on the back because you have this big behemoth of a battery battery compartment taken over. I think the second player has a little advantage as far as comfort goes. So yeah, it's just your standard plug and play system. Has the, let's see, the long cord here to attach, very long cord, and your standard video and mono audio cable to put into your television system. So let's go ahead and plug that into our television and see just how good the EA Sports uh, little plug and play system is. Let's go ahead and go to the game. When you start up your EA Sports plug and play system, the first thing you'll notice is a very simple screen that'll let you decide whether you wanna play Madden 95 or NHL 95. Now, both of these games allow you to play full season modes and playoff modes as well, and save your progress as well. So basically, if you could do it in the original Justice version, you could pretty much do it right here. Now, they do have the NFL and NHL licenses, but they do not have the player association licenses. So no longer are the player names listed in the game. Instead, they're replaced by numbers. So if you're playing Madden football and you're playing as my beloved Detroit Lions, you will know that number 20 is Barry Sanders if you're a big enough fan, but otherwise you may have to look up some history facts in order to figure out who's who. Or if you're playing NHL hockey with my beloved Detroit Red Wings, you ought to know that 19 is Stevie Eiserman. You know why Steve Eiserman is such a good team player? Because there's no I in Eiserman. Anyways, Steve Eiserman is number 19, you should know that, but if you didn't know that, you may have to look that up as well. This does take away a little bit to me, but again, if you're more familiar with the teams, you know, it's not going to bother you too much. It might bother more, some people more than others, but the gameplay is still there. So how is it? Well, Madden 95 I thought was pretty good. It's a classic Madden game. Really not much I could say about it. I wasn't very good at this version. I don't know if it's just because I'm out of practice. I've gotten used to playing Madden on more updated systems like the GameCube, which is not modern by today's standards, but I was still able to have a pretty good time with the Genesis version. NHL hockey, though, is where it really shines, in my opinion. I absolutely adore the 16-bit NHL system on the Sega Genesis. I think it is some of the best that there is. And in my humble opinion, I think it outplays several hockey games even to this day. There's just something about the simplicity. However, the 95 version was an interesting pick for this unit. It appears to me that the 94 version is basically adored by fans all over the globe and considered one of the best in the NHL series, if not the best. But in this case, they opted for the 95, which I found it a lot more difficult than I did with the previous versions. Gone was the days where I could easily fake out the goalie and get scores in the double digits. I had to really work for my goals in this game, but I still had a blast doing it because NHL hockey is a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun. Yeah, the controller took a little bit of getting used to, but after a while, it kind of faded into the background. I was back to playing NHL hockey on the Sega Genesis and it was a blast so much so that I had to keep going in the playoffs for this review I just had a lot of fun with this Madden was fun but NHL to me was the crown jewel of this collection and it is still a blast to play today 
Graphically speaking, this pretty much looks like the Sega Genesis version. The sound and music might be a little bit off due to emulation. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played these games, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Typically, that is the case, and these are family-friendly games. On eBay, these systems go for, well, pretty cheap, actually. They don't sell very often, and when they do, it's not for much. About $10 or less should get you a two-player or single-player system. Yep, they also made a single-player version as well. So overall, what did I think? Well, even though Madden was okay, I really dug NHL hockey. However, I will say this. If you have a Sega Genesis, nothing beats playing the originals on a Sega Genesis system. You get the names, you get the experience, and you get the pure action without any emulation problems. Even though the emulation problems I don't think are going to annoy most people, I'm sure there are a few differences in here. So if you have the Sega Genesis version, I wouldn't recommend getting this. But if you're just looking to kind of scratch that Sega Genesis NHL itch or John Madden itch and you don't want to have to invest in a whole system to do that, this is a pretty good route to go. And I had a lot of fun playing it. So where am I going to rank it? Well, it's not as fun as the Coleco Vision flashback unit, which I just reviewed not too long ago, but I do like it a little bit better than the Atari version. Not because I didn't like some of the Atari games like Adventure, I do, but just because I like NHL hockey that much. Another interesting point is over in Europe, I noticed that some versions actually replaced John Madden football with FIFA soccer or their version of football, which was probably the right choice, but interesting nonetheless. So there you go, the Sega Genesis Electronic Arts Sports Plug and Play System. It's fun, especially for NHL hockey, but it's not better than the original. Recommended for people who want to have the NHL experience without investing in a Sega Genesis. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Go to either one and search for The Nosewear Gamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on The Nosewear Gamer. Take care everybody and keep your stick on the ice.